Hello, and welcome to my Fire Emblem 9 Path of Radiance 100% Gross Hard Mode Low Turn Count Playthrough. I'm your host, Typhoon Carter, and today I have Shara on board with me. Hey, always excited for Tellius, which was my original introduction to Fire Emblem. Anyway, so we got chapter 24. Chapter 24 is a pretty important chapter. Ike is supposed to rendezvous with some of the Crimeans and uh, reunite them with Valencia. But first, we give a uh, yeah, Raisin but... speed wings. Yeah, pretty unusual to be giving stat boosters to Raisin, but we want to increase his avoid for this chapter. Mm -hmm. And this is mostly because Raisin is going to get attacked, although it wouldn't be the first time in this playthrough where Raisin has gotten attacked by enemies. Although this time it's a little more uh, deliberate, per se, because we are going to have to force him to transform. Yeah, so every time you get attacked, builds your if you're an untransformed Laguse, it builds your Laguse gauge. It means you don't have to spend an action using a Laguse stone. Yeah, and those uh, generally are... They generally don't have too many uses, or they don't come with too many. And we forge a standard uh, max might, max hit javelin, just because we can. It's just nice for us to pack in the back. And we're also going to buy a Silver Axe, just because like we know that the Armory's uh, availability varies a little bit. So, you know, we got a uh, risk with the Hummer, and we're also going to bring out the Rescue Staff. So this is really going to be the, the chapter of the Rescue Staff. Yeah, we're going to have to put it to uh, a lot of use, although that has more to do with the map objective, and while we're preparing, uh, Rayson is getting some bonus AXP to boost his avoid even more. Yeah, so he gets uh, two, three avoid from each level, two speed from the speed level up, and then one from the luck, plus uh, a defense and HP as well to increase his durability. Yeah, and so again, like deployment slots are not uh, too too generous, but it's just enough for us to do uh, what we're going to have to do. Um, this map has a 15 turn limit, but uh, it's actually fairly generous. But with that being said, we have to cover a lot of ground here. Yeah, and it's an arrive map, so anyone can arrive, it doesn't have to be Ike. Yeah, and what this means is uh, we're going to have to put Marsha to uh, work once again, because she is the unit that we gave boots to. Right. Now, all the other mounted units that are brought here, they are strictly here to help clear out some enemies, because uh, we want to keep Riss uh, relatively safe, and we also don't want Raisin to get attacked too many times. And yeah. the calves are particularly annoying due to the fact that they have Kanto. So this means that the more like calves that attack, like the more enemies that will attack Raisin. We still want him to get uh, attacked a few times, but we don't want him to get attacked too many times. Right, just enough to transform. Yeah, it's almost like forcing a mega evolution out of. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, with that being said, uh, the other thing is that on the seize point, it's actually being guarded by some green units. They're actually uh, Crimean Knights. Uh, one of them is a uh, soon-to-be playable character, uh, Joffrey, who is holding out on this map. So now we're starting to set up the rescue. Yeah, uh, we have to rescue Miss because Miss is going to be by far our most mobile uh, rescue user. And she also has Kanto, which is going to be really nice. And Riss here, he's going to have to help uh, repair the rescue staff because, again, this isn't Frasia where, or Genealogy for that matter, where if a weapon durability is zero, um, it doesn't like, uh, you know, stay in your inventory and just shows up as broken. And it will just disappear from your inventory if we used it one more time. So we had to do that. Right. But it is nice that we had only two uses because it means that we're efficiently hammering uh, in a lower part of the map rather than having to get somebody with a hammering staff up to where 
uh, Mist is now. Yeah, and Mist here, uh, she isn't going to rescue this turn yet because we want to try and maximize each a rescue use as best we can, so we have her one round this calf with Inui, which unfortunately breaks. <laughs> Alas. It had a good run. Anyways, yes. yeah, so a lot of these enemies, they have around like base uh, 100 hit or so, and Racing has about like 60 avoid, give or take, depending on bio rhythm. However, with that being said, Racing can only really afford to take one hit. He has enough bulk to take that much. And yeah. Riss was able to survive that Myrmidon. And is protected by Tanith and Soren from the fighter. Mm -hmm. So we have to keep Riss relatively safe as well. Unfortunately, Racing actually had a very unlikely chance to get hit by that, but uh, which uh, adds a bit of suspense. But uh, all these calves, uh, their hits are actually pretty spotty. Uh, the other reason we actually needed Racing to transform was just to compensate for like uh, whichever direction the calves decide to cantle, because it's a little bit random. Right. Yeah. You can clear out a few of them, but it's hard to reach the ones towards the top. Yeah. Because like these enemies just have a insistence on just cantling even when it doesn't make sense. Anyways, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, Mrs. Strength Cap uh, lets her down. She would have. Uh, she can actually double that Swordmaster, but it's not always guaranteed. Dub Miss doubling Swordmasters is amazing, though. <laughs> yeah. Um, anyways, these green units, uh, they're usually pretty useless, like if you the longer you take, but uh, we only need them to hold out for one turn, which is uh, more than enough, especially given that uh, more enemies are charging towards the arrive point, so we want to get there as fast as we can. Yeah, they do alright for themselves initially, before the big wave of enemies from the bottom comes up to the top. Yeah. Now, once this uh, phase finishes up, we're going to have uh, two new units uh, join us in Lucia and Bastion, but we'll talk more about them when they get there. Uh, as for Joffrey, Joffrey is a uh, pre promote paladin who can use bows and lances, and he comes with a brave lance, which is real nice. But uh, I guess we can talk more about him uh, next time. He's probably also the only person you're going to have who can use the brave bow for what that's worth. Uh, he unfortunately, yeah, I could technically burn an arm scroll, but he actually doesn't have a brave bow access at base. Okay. Anyways, yeah, so Mordecai smites Marum. Marum equip a uh, demi ban so that he could actually be uh, smited by Mordecai first. It's a neat little trick to uh, put to use. Now, as for Marsha, uh, we are going to have her uh, go to the upper village to uh, grab the savior scroll. And Soren here is just training up his uh, thunder rank for bolting. Yeah, and savior, it's a pretty nice skill. It basically uh, ensures you to rescue a unit without any penalty. And the extra transfer uh, bonuses that Rayson gets by transforming allows him to reach Marsha. Now we're at this point we basically have all the ingredients that we need to uh, finish off this map and at this point we're just feeding EXB to some units. Jill wants it, wants to try and make sure she's as juiced as possible so that uh, she can handle some enemies in the late game. Right, especially since she has one of the higher strength caps. Yeah, and she has uh, access to Axis, which also helps her cause out a fair bit. Yeah. Oscar is just getting kills here for fun, because like he doesn't really quite have the same uh, hitting power as a Kirin does at this point in the game since we uh, delayed his promotion a lot. So what was the reason that he was deployed over Kieran? 
Oh, Kieran, it was mostly to give Oscar like just a little bit uh, extra stats so that he can one round some stuff, because Kieran also can make up for his shortcomings with the Brave Axe. Anyways, uh, Mist here completes the big rescue chain, and that is chapter 24 cleared in two turns. I'll see you guys next time for chapter 25. Next, until next time. Bye-bye.